Right, this is the Rovic Lime Spreader, which we were asked to convert to work on the principles of the Magitech, which has a chain delivering the lime from the hopper, which positively displaces at least the lime which is enclosed by the chain itself, but also it drags more lime depending on the opening of the sluice above it much better than the conveyor belt which this machine came out with. So we've simply copied everything, including the nine tooth sprocket and the chain and everything from the Magitech machine. You can see from inside, here the chain is advancing. We've had to modify the hopper, the trough, to bring it down to the same width that the Magitech one is and also include that triangular piece at the front so that the line doesn't fall out of the front and also it reduces the amount of area of chain under the line. We've also made the screen to make sure no stones get, can get in. At the front we've got take-up blocks here exactly as we found them but again we've got the same sprockets that the Magitechs have. These are free to rotate on the shaft, but the shaft is actually turning. Whereas the Magitech has hydraulic motors running the spinner discs, this one has mechanical motor, uh, angle drives, two of them connected in the middle, and also where on the Magitech the drive for the chain comes up from the wheel. This is also driven by the PTO from the tractor. We put on a tensioner here which will keep the tension on the, the duplex chain there we have. Uh, that's all as it was except that it had a fixed tensioner there. This has got a uh, rubber spring loaded one. And we've also made this double funnel for the back so that the line, when it's thrown out by the chain, will land on the discs and not make a stripe on the ground behind the machine. And that's about all we've done. It's taken us a good while to do. There's just one other addition that we've made and that is a support for the returning chain here and uh, there's already one uh, as we found it has been added at the back here so we think that that is enough to support the returning chain there one can see the rubber coupling between the two spinner angle boxes So all we've got to do now is check oil and grease everything and then the thing can go.